So if I feel stressed right now. Yes. You are anxious, right? So you'd likely be in the fear, tension space, right? Um, then you choose your session length. So you can do four, eight minutes or 12. And through the experience, you know, as, as things start to happen, hopefully you start going in this direction. Aaron Labe, a new media graduate at Ryerson University, started the Lucid Project, which utilizes innovative technologies to treat mental health. The thing that really sparked the project was uh, my own personal experiences with mental health. I, um, about eight years ago, was diagnosed with a, a severe mental health challenge. Through the process of healing, I was finding that there wasn't really a lot of holistic approaches to mental health that were impactful and that were kind of approved in that like mental health system. Right now, the only like FDA approved clearances for mental health are either uh, therapeutics that you have to pay for that are expensive, like a therapist, or their medication. The big thing for me was finding a new way to approach mental health that was powerful and uh, that could actually uh, bring forth like an evidence-based treatment that wouldn't be as invasive as medication. Accessibility is a major pillar for Lucid. I think we we got into this uh, like on the hypothesis that one, we want to have a, a healthier treatment for mental health, but two, you know, the accessibility of, of the treatments that are healthy exist, like in the existing kind of framework, mm -hmm. um, that's a huge gap, right? They're the people who need mental health services and the people who can afford them are two very different things often. At our core, the platform, the way that that works is it measures um, a person's response to music and it analyzes those musical features and how it makes the body uh, react. So it's essentially a system that predicts what music will work best for you in your current mental state. The long-term goal for this product is to actually get FDA approval and have it be you know, redeemable by insurance and things like that. So then we can continue to, to have the funding we need to develop the product without having to charge the people who need the, the therapeutic process. We have these huge overwhelming issues like climate change and, and mental health and, and you know, violence and so many things. You know, and we have all this amazing technology. It's just really bridging the gap between the real world social problems and, and the tech that we have.